There are many different calculators available today, but use of the device at the high school or college level is in debate. Even if the school approves its use, it's still up to the teacher as to whether a device is used in the class. In the past and present, tools like an abacus are the primary teaching methods for young children like kindergartners. I say let's change that to use the appropriate technology starting at an early age. There are many tools available. The IXL program, for example, teaches preschoolers and kindergartners basic math skills on the computer. They have their own website available for the consumer as well as for schools to integrate their programs with math and other subjects. Most high school students and lower level college math students are familiar with basic calculator function and writing on paper, but when one moves into the higher level math courses, it's imperative one knows how to use the advanced functions on their calculator. There are advanced calculators like the TI-89 and Inspire, but many students and instructors do not know how to use these functions, and most homework given with the calculator instructions are based off the older machines like the 83. Calculators are becoming more and more advanced like the Casio Color Graphing Calculator, which performs advanced functions. This would not be a calculator a student could purchase and then have a teacher assist them with homework. Hewlett Packard has come out with the HP Virtual Graphing Calculator. They believe that the only way to compete in today's world economy and the U.S. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math is to embrace advanced calculators like this one. The only way to be able to embrace the new technology is to be familiar with it. Teachers in the classroom teaching subjects like science and math must learn new things. They must familiarize themselves with new calculators. A great way to begin in the early classroom is by using games. There are many websites that have online virtual games or ones that can be downloaded that grab the students' interest and allow them to experience technology in a fun and inventive way. Young children should be started off with age-appropriate devices. They're usually visually fun to look at and easy to afford, having a built-in reward system signaling when the child did something correct, not limited to calculators. Students of various ages and grade levels can access online games, programs, and homework applications like Pearson's Line, including Math XL. Computers in the classroom are not meant to be a hindrance but a teaching or learning, but in fact a boon. Math is one of the most important subjects taught. It's used everywhere. Architecture, design, banking, mechanicking, baking. Students must know how math is applied to the world around them and how to use technology in the class. There are so many applications available today. Many can be self-taught, but some take instruction. Some colleges offer refresher tutorial courses. There are websites for Texas Instruments and even YouTube. There are also manuals available that instruct one on how to use a device or calculator. Texas Instruments, Amazon.com, eBay, online book retailers, and even online college book renters. Obama is spending $3 billion on technological advancement in education. No more excuses for teachers to say they're old school and can or won't use technology. We're preparing for our children's education future.